Hello and welcome. Together we are going to write a program that will capitalize the first letter of a string in Java. First, my name is Alex. On this channel, I post a Java tutorial every single week for you. So if you're new here and you might be interested in seeing that, then consider subscribing. And if you enjoy learning and growing as a person but struggle to find that time, then you should check out Audible. Audible has thousands of titles, including audiobooks, podcasts, and guided meditation. I know I've used it for an audiobook called How to Build a Billion Dollar App and even a Silicon Valley startup incubator called Y Combinator. I really love it and you can try it out for free at audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee. You get one audiobook yourself so you could get the How to Build a Billion Dollar App audiobook. Again, that is audibletrial.com slash Alex Lee. So let's make this program to capitalize the first letter of a string in Java by just making a new project together. Go to new project, we'll name it cap, hit finish, then inside of there, on the source folder, go to new class, and we'll call it cap program. Hit the main method checkbox, and then hit finish. Let's start off by making a string variable. So to make a string variable in Java, you type string with a capital S. We'll call it S, and then set that equal to something inside of these double quotes. It can be numbers, it can be symbols, it can be anything. But we're going to type happy birthday, because I bet it's one of your birthdays out there. If it's your birthday today, please leave it in the comments below, and then like that comment. So now we have a string variable called s that is equal to happy birthday. Now what can we do with this string? You can do so many things to strings, it's awesome. But right now, we're just going to print it out. To print it out, you type this line of code, system.out.println. And what I did right there, that little magic trick, was I typed sysout and then control space. In Eclipse, that will autofill this print line. If you wanna learn more about my top shortcuts I use to program, I'll have a link on the card now so you can check that out. So now what do we put inside the print statement? You'll notice that this has parentheses. Usually when there's parentheses, you'll either have nothing inside or you'll have a variable or quotes. It depends on the kind of code you're running. For this print statement, we can put all sorts of things like addition, subtraction, like four plus three, save and run that. We can print out that addition or strings like this. And you can also print variables. So we're gonna print the variable s, the string that we made save and run, and we see happy birthday gets printed out. You could also copy and paste this and print out this string happy birthday, but we want the one that's stored inside this variable because we're gonna use this variable s to capitalize the first letter. If you do s dot, it'll bring up this little list of what the string can do. I'm gonna delete this print statement and just do s dot. And we're going to type one called substring. And what we're gonna do is use the substring method to get the first letter of the string, call a to uppercase method, which will turn this to uppercase, and then tack on the remaining part of the string. If we do this again, s.substring, you'll see that there are two here. And it gives a little description of what it does, and also examples. So let's just do a little example with one. And let's print that out. Sorry, I know I'm going back and forth. But so we'll put this in here, s.substring of one. What this does is it goes to index one, since index has started zero, a is index one, and it takes the rest. So that's why we print out happy birthday. But there was that second substring method that takes in two. So if we do this again, substring that takes two parameters. The first one is the beginning one, so we can start at zero and then have the end, say five, save and run. This will grab the first zero, one, two, three, four, five. To get the first one, we'll just go from index zero to index one and that'll give us the very first letter of the string. Now there's this amazing method for strings that you can also use to do uppercase. I'm just gonna comment this out right here, and we'll see how that uppercase method works. 
Let's print out again. And this time we'll do s dot to uppercase. Now this will print out the string s with every character uppercase. But we want to just uppercase the first letter. The to uppercase method works on any string. And this might look confusing, but it makes complete sense here. S dot substring returns a string. That means that the result of doing this is a new string H. Now all strings have methods like this substring method. So if the result of this is a string, then we should be able to call a string method on it with a period. So if we do a period, then we can bring up the same methods that a string can do. So now we can do say substring again for whatever reason, or you could do to uppercase, any string method. That's why sometimes you'll see this dot this, and then another dot, and then another dot. You can stack them. So if we run this, we'll see that H to uppercase. And that's amazing, that's really cool. We uppercase the first letter, but now we need to add the rest of the string. Let's make this a little cleaner by saying string results equals this, and then print out results. Does the same thing. Let's try to tack on that extra happy birthday. So what we could do is do plus s, and this wouldn't be exactly what we want. It'll print the first uh, letter as capital, but then it'll tack on the entire string, which we don't want. We want to start at appy. So remember that other substring method? And we can use substring to do this. So on s, we'll do substring dot substring. The one that takes in one parameter starts at the beginning and then grabs until the end of that string. So we want to start at index one because indexes start at zero. If we start at one, we start at that A and then grab the rest. So this is happy birthday. So we have, so we save this and run it. We see that string with a capital first letter. Let's go through this one more time. When we click the green run button, we run code inside of the main method. The first thing we see is a string variable called s that's equal to happy birthday. We create another string variable called result that is equal to a few results of a few methods. So we have s and we do a method called substring 01. What this does is returns a string between these two indexes. So zero is right here and one. So we grab that H. So now this is H. Then we take the results of this and uppercase it. So H dot to uppercase is capital H. So now this is capital H. Next, we use a plus sign to concatenate the two strings together. And the result of this is S happy birthday dot substring one with the one parameter and one inside, we start at index one and go to the very end. So now this is happy birthday, capital H plus happy birthday is result. So when we call code to print to the console results, we print capital H, happy birthday, happy birthday. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It was a fun little program, a very simple one, but good to kind of get the ideas going, the juices flowing. We even did multiple methods on one string. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.